We need to get this boy some fucking clothes, Carl, because, <laughs> man, he's struggling. We just started up the game and I was like, oh no, Link's dying, I forgot. Did we do the thing we always do, where we strip Link off naked and bomb him down a hill? Yeah, we did. The hero of Hyrule, ladies and gentlemen. What do you I, think when they see that? I also forgot how stacked we are. Yeah, we Look are. Look at these weapons, Carl. I genuinely thought for a sec there you were going to say, I th- forgot how stacked Link is. Well, he's got, he's got skinny abs, but yeah, he's... then again, he just swing around Boulder Crusher like he's nothing. Yeah, I was going to say, like, he's not physically intimidating, but he is strong as fuck. He is, yeah. It's like when you just look at your dad and think, I could take him, and then you realise, no, he'd probably fucking have me. He'd drop me, in, <laughs> he'd drop me in one. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the image. Just... just I've still got it. I've still, <laughs> I've still got it, guys. I'll save Hyrule if you I want me to. But can I please put some pants on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Link. Just Link with his pot lid. Like, let's give him some clothes. Let's go for it. Oh, fight, fuck you know. No, 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 leave him with that. Just take the pants off. Look at that. Now take it off. Now take the top off. Oh, now put it back on. <laughs> Look how immediate his response is about how fucking ready. Oh, so do we just finish the most dangerous of all things, the chews? The legendary chews that were just sneaking in or fucking you up? Oh, yeah. I remember now. I remember what we were doing. Because we had the, um, the like, one-hit obliterator or whatever it's called. Yeah, do we still have that? Uh, I think it's, like, a quest item now. Okay, so what's the next quest? We've got four, but I could have sworn we've just done one. Uh, so, we've we got just four. did one. Because oh, yeah, because remember... we opened up the quests that are all around. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it opened up, like, the... Four different, like, shrine panel things on the floor. Yeah, we did the special quest in the, cent- uh, in the Great Plateau, and that opened up the four rounds. So I say we go in the same order that I did when I got my powers. Okay, so, so we start with, the with good old Ellie Font. Yeah, because that was um, Reval is Gale. No, no, that was Mipha's Grace first. Oh, shit, yeah, sorry. It was Mipha's Grace, then Reval is Gale, then Urbosa's Fury, and then Daruk's Protection. It was, and so I was... can't believe you're forgetting about our, our you know, lovely girl. The side piece. Good old Mifa. Do you know what that is? That is just the epitomisation of her status as the side chick. We forget that we're even, like, she's even there. Well, it sounds like Mifa was Link's, like, main chick, because she yeah, made him, no, like... she was. She's like, in my version of events, she's looking, <laughs> oh my god, look at the elephant. Yeah. Look at the Mastodon Zord, just ready. Yeah. Like, we did that, Carl. We did that. I did that. We I really well like that me. as, like, a um, kind of reward for completion, because... Is that a more of a statement that yeah I did this divine beast than him just sitting on top of a volcano like yeah. it now obeys me. I did this. This was my doing. First things first though, use your pot lid and just slide down the mountain, please. Oh no! Because I heard you say that like as I was about as to as you jump. were falling off the edge like an idiot. I know. So I just want to see the pot lid like to grind. I don't rocks. think it's gonna grind. I think it's gonna break immediately. Ah! That's fine. Well, it is now. Ah! Oh, <laughs> me for where was she? <laughs> where was she? That's she what heard you get she... for calling her a side piece, Carl. She heard us. It. It's like when you're with your girlfriend and you make a joke about her not being your girlfriend. And you, just, you get that side glance as though she's really pissed and go, oh, "I'm not um, having a good <laughs> evening tonight." It was a funny joke, but I'm not sure if it was worth it. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> did, it just re- did it actually just reload the save? It, it, yeah, just put it back as, like, naked cold boy. Oh, that's fine. Uh, so everyone gets to watch that loading screen again. I'm sorry. Ah, it's right. Took two seconds. Is that a but you do get to see, like, the good boys. I just like the way the salamander goes, if you've looked at it. Yeah, just, like, it wiggles. Just, like, his little shuffle. Like, yeah. yeah. Loves it. Wiggle, wiggle. So are they in order of when we cap? They're not in any particular order, are they? Uh, I think they're always in the same order. So what is, does that have any relevance to the plot? But, like, no. Who died first, or I don't think so. I got Spitting like shape. you just did it again. Well, you didn't, you didn't pot lid surf. Oh my god! The thing is though, can you sweep the camera around and have a look at what Link looks like right now? <laughs> <laughs> look at him, <laughs> the hero of Hyrule. And there's oh, also a shrine just like down there. Such fierce determination on his face. Something I've oh, noticed as well is um, you know, we've drawn. Par- oh my god, fucking look at him. <laughs> look at Numerous him. parallels between this and Metal Gear Solid 5. Mm-hmm. I've just noticed that him and Venom Snake have the same haircut. 
Oh, yeah, they do. They've got yeah. the same little um, uh, sweet bat with a mini ponytail. Kill him. You've got a Savage Lionel bow on, remember? Or did you tell that off? No, I've got the royal bow. Like, nice okay, fuck him up. Royal bow. Fuck him up. Uh, Show him what happens when, you're, when you've got the favour of all four champions of Hyrule. God, do it. Combine all four powers. You should be able to use her bow fury when you shoot an arrow. Can you? Is that a thing? Uh, no, you can't. No, no. Okay. Oh god, he's still he's still invisible. Do you think a neat thing would be during your charge up a sword, oh it's, uh, it powers up your spin attack and does an area effect. Maybe when you charge up a bow and arrow, it should do like a, a line of lightning. Yeah. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, I've got no sword out. Ah! Hit him. <laughs> no go. Take his lightning rod and just drop it off the edge. Do it. <laughs> Show him that you don't even want it. Oh god. Because I'm pretty sure like, I, I must have, I guess, re-equipped it. You can't throw these, can you? No. Can Magnet I? Magnesis. Yeah, there we go. Magnesis. No. It's made of wood. Fuck. Can you bomb it off the edge? Yeah, there we go. Bye. <laughs> Someone's going to find that and it's going to be a really good day for them. Unless it's one of the fish people and they just instantly have a heart attack. Yeah, if it's just like gone into the lake, it's like, oh god, no. Fishing with dynamite. What are you doing not opening up all these boxes? Look at that. It's I should awesome. probably give us some clothes, but fuck it. No, man, leave them off. I love this. <laughs> just do the DLC naked. Why not? We'll just keep them off for the time being. Right, Link, is, is that yeah. a rough day? You need to relax. Black and crab. Oh, man, yes. Is this Carl's like quarantine tech? Just, I need to relax, let's get naked. I've not been naked, but my quarantine tech has been... Um, I finally done the thing that all self-employed people do and worn jogger bottoms. <laughs> My gym ones, admittedly, but because I always wear jeans and a shirt and stuff. But yeah, I thought I wear, um, I wear my nice clothes when I'm going out shopping and when I'm working. <laughs> but when I'm not, because I'm uh, all I'm really doing when I'm not working is just playing Xbox. And then every half an hour, I take a break to do like ten sit-ups, ten press-ups, and. Uh, mm -hmm. And a, some, a variety of stretches to stop me from dying. Oh my god, Lucas, are you just ready? <laughs> <laughs> That's a screech. Oh my god. Do it. Do Please, it, Link. Look, look at Link's face. He's like, protein. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, yes. Poor, those poor fish. The thing is, though, they're what? Uh, saltwater fish? Because you found them in the, the ocean. Hmm. What would happen if you just went and chucked them in the uh, fresh water? <laughs> Or is there like not a system like that in the game? I don't think there is. I don't think it's yeah. that complex of like salt water and um. I wouldn't be surprised though the amount of effort they put into this. Yeah, you know, like it, so many it fucking genuinely wouldn't bananas. surprise me. Let's just me. Like, it pisses it pisses me off though that you can't um, uh, combine effects. I hope that they like. I mean, to be fair, you know the cooking system is pretty good in this, but that is one thing I'd like to see in and the sequel is like an expanded cooking system. I just want just that extra level of just um, depth. Yeah. Just one extra level to but the we'll depth. keep the animation the same. Keep Yeah, never change it. Like, is there anything like that in a game where so you think like, ne never change that? We talked about in Resident Evil. He's so happy. Like, we talked about in Resident Evil 4 where if they, made a re if they remastered it, um, keep that um, voice guy the same. Never change the welcome strange. Yeah, the merge. Never change his the voice. inventory system. Uh, keep it exactly the same. It's uh, all those is it, uh, Dark Siders, Dark Stalkers. The game Morrigan Sprite has never changed. Has it not? The Sprite of Morrigan, they kept it the same in everything. There was petitions for like Ultimate Marvel, like change Morrigan Sprite back to the shit Sprite no one likes. <laughs> I'm a big fan of stuff like that. Keep it the same. Because you'll know it's more than me. Is um, oh oh my god! <laughs> no fear. <laughs> like just no it. fear on his face. <laughs> Because um, you'll know this better than me. What's the old-fashioned, like, you found an item noise from Legend of Zelda? Is it the da-da-da-da? Yeah. Is that in this game? It is, yeah. Oh, okay. It's like so. um, a slightly, like, orchestrated version. So each game has, like, its own twist on the tune, but it keeps the same, like, the same notes. Ah, so it's similar to Final Fantasy, then, where every uh, Final Fantasy game has prelude in it in some capacity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the very, very first Final Fantasy game, just oh, remixed in... So, oh, my God. Yeah, you can tell that's a Guardian one. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Super cool. Right. So I've been listening to... Um, oh my god. Wait, there are two next features. What the fuck's that? Oh, it's just a regular shrine. Should we go there first? Should we go there first? Okay. Go there, yeah. It's on the way. 
uh, listen to the Final Fantasy. Oh, oh God, his ankles. Oh. The uh, Final Fantasy VII remake soundtrack. And man, are there some bangers on that. Oh, yeah, I've heard. That, like, it's amazing. Oh, God, no. Oh, the, the wind. wind? Uh. <laughs> Force yourself against you can the wind. do it, come on. You are fighting the wind. <laughs> what You've I want to see now. Like, he can fight nature, Carl. You know that Link, if he really wanted to, if he really focused all his effort, he could DDT the wind. <laughs> Just take it down. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh god, that's struggling. Can you drop and then like angle your fall? Like maybe if you get a bit low, below the rocks that are just there, do you see? Ugh. Like, don't be, the wind won't be as strong. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I want to see what the lizard's there thinking. Go. There we go. And you're straight in. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh Link! Oh! Don't, don't do what you're going to do, because you're going to get blown off course. Oh, that's effort. Didn't even kill it. I do think of what does the enemy think? Oh. Like, is the enemy smart enough to realise it was hurt in this game? Or uh, is it like Skyrim where you'll shoot an, a guard in the back of the head with an arrow and go, it must have been the wind? Like, they'll start looking around for you if they're damaged. Is there any voice line stupider in a video game than must have been the wind? <laughs> yeah. As the guard has like an arrow sticking out the front <laughs> of his head. Yeah. God damn it. Fuck you. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh yeah, well, I would... Um, to get back to what I was saying, is there anything in a game where you think they should never change this? Or if they remake, whenever they make a new one, I want the old dumb thing still in it. I know what you're oh, trying to do. Oh, God. Yeah, I was trying to break the shield. The pot lid. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because that RE4 one is a shout. I never change the voice lines for that guy. Even if they can get the same guy back, mm. um, don't do it because... Uh, you're ready to trivialise this car. Oh, you're going to fly over it. <laughs> Thanks. Like, Rivali breaks the game. Yeah. The fact that people don't have that power to lately, I feel so bad for them. But um, it's more recently they've done a thing where it's Mortal Kombat 11. They've announced Robocop. Yes, they have, yeah. For the game. And oh, I'm did big you know fan, I'm, that? Oh, yeah, I'm a big fan of Robocop. And I even, I quipped to you on the day it was announced, I can't go on Twitter. You know <laughs> yeah. why? I went, Robocop just got announced in Mortal Kombat 11. <laughs> went, oh, and you just went, you know, the understanding just, yeah. <laughs> maybe not and I genuinely didn't know that they got Peter Weller back to do the voice because the voice mm. sounds that different because obviously he's about 30, 40 years older than he was when he first recorded Robocop mm. and they've put some sort of filter over it to try and make it sound like Robocop oh, no. but it doesn't sound like Robocop even though it's the original voice actor mm -hmm. and I kind of don't like it that they got the voice actor back but he doesn't sound the same have you seen as well like for example um, there was a clip going around on Twitter and I don't know whether it was like what she always sounds like now, but um, the voice actress for Marge. And oh yeah, the voice like, check. Oh god, I feel really sorry for like that woman for having to do that voice for so many years because she has to put on really bad vocal fry. Like, oh man, oh wait, like, that's not as bad as which has to put on the the vocal fry that is so bad, and it's is it wrecked her voice then essentially uh, from the sounds of it, or. Like, she's just gotten older and can't really do it very much. Mm, it's similar so to... So it's like, you uh, can just hear the voice go, oh, no. David Hayter, when he was recording Metal Gear Solid 4. And according to him, it was um, like, agonising to the point where he had to have bottles of Jack Daniels the fuck just hell? there, and he was taking shots of Jack Daniels between takes. Jesus. Because he was in that much pain, trying to put on the old man snake voice. Because obviously, you... You've got to really just grate your voice to sound like that. Mm -hmm. No, are you? Are you actually going to do? I think you're going to nudge it off. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Oh no! Ah, oh, fuck! Well, I... oh, that's not bad. That quick shot arrow. Man, a bow for fishing. Oh, is there a bow we can change for that? Because quick shot sounds pretty cool, and I bet it looks really neat. But bet, here we go, like seventeen royal bows. <laughs> Like the Frenic bow is super good. I don't think there's a single bow we can drop to get rid of that. You know what? I'm going to get rid because I'd rather have a quick shot one than a sniper one, personally. Oh, okay. Well, you're the one playing right now, so it's up to you oh, what you prefer. Punch that metal box. Do it, Link. I want to have a look at that. Can you equip it? it looks really cool. Because the Zora stuff has really ornate, cool design, like based on fish. Yeah. Looks sick as fuck, man. Tell you what, we'll like even remove the stuff just so we can see. Oh, yeah. That was boss as fuck, man. It's great. So I always found it really difficult getting rid of the Zora stuff because it looks really cool. But it's not very powerful. No. Well, let's put the mask back on. 
But uh, yeah, speaking like David Hayter, he wrecked his voice doing Old Snake. And then what's the other one now? It's uh, for the new Devil May Cry. Spoilers, it's been out for a while now. Virgil's back. Yeah. And they got the same actor back, but the thing that made Virgil sound so unique, I guess, in oh, no. the original. Oh. Oh, okay. No, it's fine. Oh, it's fine. That made Virgil sound so unique um, was the fact that, what was it now? Uh, Danny Southland, I think it is. He had a cold when he recorded all the lines. Oh, uh, okay. So when he did all the original voice acting for Virgil, he had a cold. So he's just like Phoebe in it all. Yeah, and that's why Virgil has that weird nasally quality to him. Oh, right. Where he sounds like just a little bit smug. He's like, oh, damn thing. Like, not as that pronounced, but yeah, there's, <laughs> a, there's a hint of it. That sounded pop- to me like your impression then was... Mike um, Wazowski. Mike, the Mike Wazowski line. Like. But the problem with that is every time they've tried to bring him back, he can never recreate that. Yeah. So it always, even though they've got the same voice actor, it sounds just a little bit off. So oh, that's cool. Fire the plan is to just try and... I'm hoping if I rotate brute, them... Just brute force it. Well, that's not even brute force, no, really. Ah, I see you get both lit. And then... I'm trying to figure out how to do it. Light the top one. Uh, we'll rotate this it. One. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. There that we go. Nice more. Nailed. You nailed that while we were having a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I feel bad for those voice actors where their voice, they're the same guy, but their voice has changed so much because they're old. Yeah. And like with the Robocop one, it just doesn't sound like Robocop, even though they paid all the money to get Peter Weller back. Oh, it's so... It's like... It's really good of them to like stick to the voice actor, but it's grim for them. It's better though than um, the just Alice getting Keith the Sutherland instead. Oh god, that was all. Why did they even do that? Was there ever a stated reason <laughs> for why they got um, like David Hayter? No. David Hayter was just like, oh uh, yeah, I didn't even know this game was happening. Like, I didn't get consulted on the matter. But Keith Sutherland, he's a good actor. He's a good voice actor, but he he's is, not yeah. Snake. No. And it's like it's meant to be the same character. They could have got the same voice actor, and I guess it was just like, oh well, we can sell this game on like the name of Kiefer Sutherland instead. But Kiefer Sutherland isn't that big a star. Maybe like, he's, when he like uh, he's famous, but he's not famous enough. To yeah, just, like, maybe Metal when Gear Solid. I would just come out. Metal Gear Solid is a bigger name than Kiefer Sutherland. Yeah, and to a lot of fans of that game, which I'd say a virtually every fan of that game, David Hater is Snake, unless you play and- the Japanese version. It was yeah, a very, I, I believe... like, big outcry from people going, what the fuck? Plus things, they never changed the Japanese voice actor. Oh, didn't they? The Japanese voice actor is the same guy. They only changed the, like, the English one for some reason. And they never, and we never found out why. That's so strange. It's so strange. Like, like, the only I love... thing I can think of is, like, oh, yeah, well, Kiefer Sutherland's a bigger name than David Hayter. But, as you say, like, the Metal Gear branding is bigger than Kiefer Sutherland was at that point. So baffling. We've got no. I don't more. understand why you change it, and then to bring it back to Mortal Kombat. Who's the one they got now? It's um, they changed all the voice actors for that. Yeah, with the sole yeah. exception of Steve Bloom for Sub Zero because he's just too good. <laughs> and then you have what Kratos? They changed the voice actor for him. Uh, yeah, I don't know who voiced Kratos before Chris Judge. The guy who did it originally he did it for all the games, I think. Mm-hmm. Which is really, which is really strange. And I, I found know. out a little. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh wow! Yeah, that's not even what I was looking at. It's like the shadow from the elephant. It's puff magic it's dragon. Like, yeah, it's coming in, Go coming in for the Oscar. assist. Something I found out about um, God of War though is Joe the Lion. I am not your monster. Apparently, they got the original voice actors to record that one line. Oh really? That's that they got him and they just dubbed that in. What one line that he got to do? That's his one contribution to that game. But as well, that's really cool because of the fact that like. That's alluding to the fact that he had a past. And that Kratos has changed. Quite mm-hmm. literally, because he's got a new voice actor. He's black now. <laughs> That's what I love about Kratos. The voice actor. I'm pretty sure the guy who voiced originally was a white guy. And they've got a black guy to do it. I don't mind like with that so much because a lot of it was just angry shouting. There wasn't a lot of pathos like, to Kratos, is what we're saying. There wasn't a lot of characterization like to Kratos. As there was characterization, like, but not a lot of emoting required. Yeah, and Chris as George far as is like, a good you know, fucking actor. A lot of dialogue is concerned, whereas like someone like David Hayter, where it's like, oh, full like conversations with multiple characters in every game. Plus as well, he is an actor. He was in Dark Man. Alright. Oh, I think he is in that. It's great. He does his snake voice. 
<laughs> it's like, um, what is it now? Is it, is it Howl's Moving Castle? Where Christian yeah. Bale's in it in the British uh, in the English speaking version of that mm-hmm. in of that okay, in that film, Flicky and him. he does his, he does his Batman voice. <laughs> it's like oh man, you've got one voice, aren't you? Like actors, when you realise they've got no range, such as uh, Mike Myers, where he's I been mean, doing the Shrek voice for like twenty can't, years. You can't really say that Christian Bale hasn't got range. No, no, it's more though like when you, you can't do accents, yeah, yeah, or voices. It's like oh, he just when you say oh, okay, do a, a deep voice, and it's just the Batman voice. Damn. I love that shit with actors. Like the one we keep talking about on the channel is uh, Tom Cruise in Valkyrie, which is a oh, film I've not set seen in that. Germany. It's a film set in Germany about a German man oh, God. who tried to assassinate Hitler. Oh God, that's so <laughs> he threatening! Rises. He rises. It's coming. It's a, a it's a real dude who actually existed. I think it's um, something von Schnaffenberg is the guy who tried to assassinate Hitler by putting a bomb in his briefcase, mm-hmm. famously, and. Tom Cruise doesn't put on a German accent. He just speaks like Tom Cruise. <laughs> uh, the director explained that um, it would take audiences out of the movie, oh, which God. is code for Tom Cruise can't do a German accent. Yeah, basically. Because other actors in the film do do German accents, and there are German actors in the film who speaking English with their native German accent, and Tom Cruise doesn't. <laughs> and I've always said that film's worth watching if you watch it and try and ignore that it's based on a real dude and pretend Tom Cruise is a really bad spy. <laughs> and just, oh. but that dis- that thing of oh no it it distract audi- it distract audiences if it was all presented in German no no if they had German accents I think that the argument was it'd be anachronistic still because obviously it'd be more realistic if they spoke German and not English with German accents but when other actors in the film affect a German accent you know the real reason is Tom Cruise couldn't do it yeah because like if they if they genuinely had that reasoning. It would have just been that all of them just have their normal accents. Mm-hmm. But it's like, oh no, Tom Cruise is the only one. He looks like a really bad spy. He looks like Ethan Hunt to try to break in. <laughs> oh yeah. Do not let your guard down. Get quick, get your pot lid on. I haven't got it anymore. Oh no, we brought well no, what we're we gonna do with dead. I've got a traveller shield card, it's fine. Do you want like to happen right now? I want a guardian I want one of the divine beasts to lock onto you. <laughs> just do, 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 and then you just like, parry nah. it back. You just turn around the elephants right behind you. It's like, no. Oh, man. They miss such a trick not giving you a Shadow of the Colossus style boss fight with each one. Oh, yeah. Oh, who's this dickhead? He's back. It freaks me out that he's got feathers and fingers. <laughs> Hello, fellow traveller. Just look at Link. He's ready. Link is so ready. Really? That takes you by surprise? I know, yeah, like, the shrines have been... Shrines and towers have been popping up out of the ground for, like, the last couple of weeks. And you live in a world where giant roaming robots um, are threatening entire civilizations. <laughs> and it's like, oh no, three rocks rose from the ground, that's scary. Oh, go on, sing a song. The champion Mifa. Ah, okay, so it's just a little extra bit of the... All the ex, the champions had one extra thing they did that you never yeah. found out about. It's the classic, isn't it? Mm. The DLC is, oh, this stuff happened off camera and no one ever talks about it. Shut up. I think it's, like, a clever thing to do more because one of the, like, biggest complaints was, oh, you've got these really cool characters and did nothing with them. No, yeah, it's like Mifa, Rivali, like, Obosa especially. I can't wait to see what hers is. Mm-hmm. So this like extra little backstory about what they did other than die like bitches against robots that you felled with sticks. Yeah, it's just kind of like a little bit of extra story for each one. It's almost like it should have been the base game. Almost. What would they sell you as DLC though, Carl? Oh man. Uh, what is the piece of DLC that you think uh, absolutely should have been in the base game? Because for me, the number one with the bullet every time is the one in Resident Evil 5 where it's the mission with Chris and Jill to find out how Wesker... Kill. Oh yeah, the, the like um, quote unquote lost in nightmares. Yeah, like the prologue was it? Yeah, the quote unquote like how he killed Jill. Because yeah. fun fact, that was actually in the base game, and it was in the original advertising, and they touted it as part of the game of you playing with Jill, and then Wait, they cut really? it out to sell as GL- uh, They cut it out to sell as DLC. That definitely sounds like Capcom at the time with like yep. <laughs> you know the classic Street Fighter Four where it's like oh all the DLC is on the disc and it just. That when you buy the DLC, it's a code to unlock it. Unlocks it. it. 
Well, yes, uh, that was part of the original game. So that, for me, will always be the number one with a bullet because it was literally part of the game. Man. Do you remember See, I know like, EX Capcom is like... through that period of just being a shitty company? Oh, man, Cap God's back, though, don't worry. Devil May Cry 5, prove that. Oh, so this is... You've got to go track down this mysterious area here. So, basically, each location of a trial is, like, right where each one of these is. So that's clearly, like, the city. The, the city, yeah. So we can go to that one last, because we know what that is. It's kind of annoying it. that it makes you do this. Just tell oh, me God, where yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, the Blood Moon. I forgot. Oh. I was like, what's going on? Oh, yeah. Because the world's on fire. Everything's coming back. Because that means you have to keep teleporting back here to see where you've got to go next. Uh, we can just go on a map and pin each one. Oh, okay, well, let's do that then. Perfect. Yeah. I'm just oh, waiting wow. for this Blood Moon to get past. Because it's going to go halfway through like a bloody... Uh, you pinning something on your map. Yeah, so yeah. What's for you then? What's DLC that should have been in the base game? Because that Resident Evil 5 one takes the piss. Because they talk yeah, about it, it in, in the, game. the game. It was supposed to be. They cut it out. That's ridiculous. So it's supposed to be like a prequel mission after you discover Jill. Um, I'm trying to think, to be honest. Like, there's nothing that immediately like comes to mind, but I know that there's ones that I can, I could probably have told you. Like, um, so we'll do this, and I'll try and have a think. Yeah, Zora Dona, mate. So it's to the right. So there's like, oh yeah, it's like at the bottom of these waterfalls from the looks of it. Mm-hmm. So we'll do that. Yeah, so if you just put it around that area, you'll see it. So then you can just pin each one. Perfect. And do it all three in one go. Which is what I really like about the fact that you can either look at something and pin it, or you can go to your map and place the pin. Oh, so you need to look for the big um, bumping rock party fist. That's the one on the map. Perfect. I'm imagining. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yes. one's called Knuckle Island. Yeah, the big bumping party fist. Uh. So it's like, yeah, just on the edge of that bit. The there. middle island. As long as it's around the area, we should know where we're going. And then the last one. Uh, last one is this one here. Oh. <laughs> Link just <laughs> fell off like a jackass. I was like, okay. There's just something about, though, how... Uh, on the edge of, like, the big ass fucking uh, waterfall from the looks of it. Uh, yeah, because you can see it. Yeah, around here. You can see that blue bit, which is where we jump down it, remember? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's about right. I'm going to just move, move it to like over here. Oh, yeah, the big bopping party face. So, so which something about that like, UI just doesn't... It looks like it was pasted on. It doesn't look like it should be part of the world. No, it doesn't. Like, the rest of it looks really good. That just looks like someone put a JPEG over it. Like, they could have taken the topography of the map and just made it, like, glow a bit. Yeah, but instead they just like the... use the image. Oh. No, instead of the map that you have that would exist in the world, clearly people in this world can travel and traverse the area. Mm. People can fly. But who took those photos? <laughs> it's a minor complaint, but maybe me a little Bali bit. just like got up there. Have you seen some of the stuff of is it Ghost of Tashunma? Uh, yes, or... I have. Yeah. Have you seen how fuck ugly the UI is in that game? Yep, and it pissed but... me off to all hell. Yeah, because they put all this effort into yeah, it's a. Uh, it's this beautiful open world where you, like, is, is it the wind guides you? Like, you'll be stood there, you don't yeah. know where to go, and you'll see a, a rustle of some leaves. So, like, which will subtly suggest which way you're supposed to go. When you place a marker or something, you can, like, have the wind show you the way. And it's like, oh, that's really cool, but every time you press the button to, like, make the wind show you where to go, this god awful, like, D pad UI shows up. <laughs> and it looks so bad. And then, like, the, um,. The mission marker of like it's four hundred meters away to get to it's this camp. Constantly like, no. on screen. Like you've literally put something in the game to stop like UI elements getting in the way, but then you still put UI elements up every time I want to use it. And plus the UI looks fucking awful. It looks horrible. And the first thing I thought is I can't wait to turn that shit off. I I really hope there's a mode like this where it's like a pro mode where it's like just get rid of the UI for me. I've been really getting into that. Like, uh, I play through Modern Warfare, mm -hmm. the campaign, with all that turned off. And it oh, actually, nice. on my big TV at night, and like one of the missions is go storm a house at night. And with no UI elements, it is really tense. I was wearing it with the new <laughs> headphones I've got. Oh, so I got myself some new headphones to play on my Xbox, surround sound. Terrifying. That mission was yeah. awesome. Because you hear people in rooms, you're like, where the fuck are they? 
and you're creeping around corners at night and you can't see anything. It's super cool. And I think and with you this all game, the UI back on and it's just there's a big yeah. glowing dot telling you where to go. I think in we this say, game it was like about five hours in. I was like, right, I'm used to it. I'm turning everything off. Mm. Just put I say do it for this, but we, we clearly need these dots to know where the fuck we're going now to get to Well, and dots. also just for like sake of people watching the stream knowing what's going on as well. Yeah, it might make sense to get rid of the blue one because the blue one, one of the ones is one that we planted. Yeah, Didn't so we? these three. So we go in the blue one, yeah. But isn't there another one on the map, the red one? Uh, somewhere. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, I'm saying, I just saw it on the map. I know we've placed all four, but we only need three. There we go. Let's clean up that. So I think that was just pinning to go to the top. So I thought I'd bring that up because that game has been one of those things where it has been sold purely on single screenshots and five second gifs of <coughs> people going, the fuck is this game? Oh. It looks incredible. And then they've released no information about it. And the more they've talked about it, the less I want to play it. The amazing part to me was um, when it's like, so oh, awesome. we'll show you like elements of the game that are unlike anything you've ever seen before. And I was like, it plays like Batman. <laughs> I was like, okay. It's like, I, I'm fine with that. I'm going to enjoy the game. But like, don't lie to Ooh. me and say that you've created something completely like new and unique. And then it's just, oh, you have like combat mode and predator mode. So, ba so that's the skeleton vision from Batman. Yeah, yeah, I was just like, that's all it is. Is like you've just got the two play styles are basically just the combat mode in Arkham. Oh, I've not seen the predator it. Predator mode in Arkham, and I'm like, okay. So I just saw a couple screenshots of the UI looking god awful. Please don't tell me the combat is. You have a glowing thing above the enemy, and you press a button to counter. No, it's not. Oh, but basically, god. they were like, um, oh, you've got like two unique um, ways of you know, like building Maybe your character, and one of them is. Um, like the samurai character where you go up and you're like, you fight them face to face. Ah, uh, I've seen very this one with ghost mode. And the ghost like, mode is where you're like, you use ninja. like, yeah, you're a ninja, but you use like fear to like attack the enemies and stuff. So you'll throw like firecrackers down and wind chimes to distract them. Is and this like, game oh. just a, a really high budget reboot of Tenshu? Uh, yeah. Starting to sound a lot like Tenshu Shadow Assassins in this house. So, oh, ah, so the mission is you've got to go as quickly as you possibly can. And then you're like, oh. Isn't there a thing, though, where you sometimes you can't get this armor? No. This armor is part of the storyline. But we need the other piece, and we don't know where that is. Uh, no, but you don't need that piece. Ah, okay, so you, you can. You only need the chest piece to go on waterfalls. Yes, you do, don't you? I was thinking that, but the swim speed might be helpful, but we should be okay. Yeah, go, Link. Oh, look yeah. at him. Those, those, those are the moves that got in me for... <laughs> when she saw them, that hit movement. <laughs> look at him, Ron. The more I've seen about that game, the less I've started to give a shit, because when I saw that very first reveal trailer, mm -hmm. it was like... It looked like a Kurosawa film come to life. I'm like, oh my God, what is this? And then the more they've explained it, it's like, please stop talking about it. You're making it worse. The one thing that really confused me is they um, made a big point. To, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Pretty, pretty easy. easy. So you get a challenge for each um, uh, individual part. Mm -hmm. And um, each one leads to like a shrine. Um, so there's, a, there's actually a lot of effort put into this then. Like there really is. And this DLC did come out like... A, a roughly a year after the game did to give people I think it was about, a challenge it came out in like november around the game awards i think it was the night of the game awards so it was like a good yeah nine months down the line eight months down the line they did Which, put a lot of effort into it the perfect amount of time as well for people who played the game on launch to go i might do another playthrough mm -hmm. but not long enough where you've gone well, i don't really fancy picking it back up i've moved on yeah yeah solid amount of time Thank you.